plan your work and work your plan to get your confidence goals. Sharon Hornell from here. Welcome to day 2073 of What Shift You Know. Documenting the journey originally as I transitioned from the brick and mortar corporate world of business. And I want to share the lessons that I've learned, the good, the bad, and the ugly, what's worked, what hasn't worked. Uh, now I have participated in literally thousands of businesses in my career. Uh, originally offline, while simultaneously working in corporate America for over a quarter century, I participated in 27 different businesses and industries. And then I came online, I lost count for a while, but it's literally been hundreds and thousands of businesses that I have helped to create what it is that they want to see in the world. And I do the same for myself and for the people I, I care about, right? People I love and care about and work with. So today, every day, I create a couple of pieces of content just to share and give back. And the first thing I create is I look up the the meaning and the history of an idiom. And I share that in my Supersize Your Business group for a couple of reasons. One, to remind us and remind myself what things mean and that they don't mean necessarily what they mean to me to everybody else that I come in contact with. Even like-minded people define things differently, right? We all define beauty differently. We all define success differently. We all have our own version of work, struggles, you know, love, hope, fear, uh, competition. We all define things based on our experiences, based on our thoughts and our beliefs. And so I like to talk about what things mean to stimulate thinking in terms of well, what do they mean for me and what could they mean for us as we're building and growing and supersizing our business. Always keeping in mind that just because we intend or mean something doesn't mean the person that we're communicating with or talking to or working with has the same definitions or the same understanding or the same perspective or the same meaning. And that's where communication breaks down. That's where all types of negotiations and, and discussions and, and agreements break down is usually just a misunderstanding, right? You know, now that negates the fact that there are just bad, evil people in the world. And sometimes we get mixed up with them. But that aside, assuming that we're all good people trying to do the best we can with what we've got right now, then we want to do things to understand one another better. So our idiom today was plan your work, work your plan. And, you know, there's a lot of debate on this idiom, like there is in almost everything on the planet these days, uh, about planning in particular. You know, should you have a plan? Should you have a business plan? Because we were talking about business there. Should you have a life plan? Do you have an overarching strategy or plan for your life? And that was our, that is our topic, step four of our goal process, which this month is our confidence goal process, is strategy and plans. What is your overarching strategy for getting this goal. And mine is to amplify my strengths, right? I want to amplify what I already have as strengths so I can create more of that. And then I want to minimize my weaknesses. And mine is um, getting more comfortable with my physical appearance, right? Body positivity, identity, image, etc. And it's kind of a personal one, right? It's a very personal one, but it has a huge impact on mine and everybody else's confidence. So that is our topic for today for our annual challenges to what is your overarching strategy? What is your plan to get your specific confidence goal this year? By the end of this year, we're setting the date as the end of this year. It's an annual challenge. So set a goal that you can achieve in the next few months, right? The next quarter. Uh, and I, I shared then a couple of my plans. I shared my overarching strategies to amplify my strengths. And then what are some of the plans I've got to make that happen? And then I'll work on that some more today because just like everybody else, I do the challenge. I am actually doing the homework so I can become a better version of myself, so I can get my goals, right? That's the whole purpose of doing a challenge is creating what we want to have in our lives. And, and that's especially true of this year's challenge. So uh, what am I thinking about today? I, I am heading out today very soon, so I wanted to quick make my videos. If I can help you in any way, I should be available by phone. If you If you have any questions, hit me up. You can always reach me at pajamagrammar at gmail.com. Voxer, it's my Voxer handle. It's kind of a weird one, but it, it served me well because everybody doesn't know it. Everybody can look up your name and say at gmail.com, and <clears throat> that means you get inundated with requests that you might not be able to handle. But by having a separate handle for my Voxer, it's much easier to communicate with people that really want to get in touch with me and that I can really help. All right, have an awesome day. Again, if I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow probably with more information. I was going to share some tips, tricks, and strategies that I personally use and tools that I love when it comes to planning and deciding what I'm going to do, but 
I didn't realize how late it was. So have an awesome day. I'll be with you tomorrow.